Stats for September 2024 in the Northern Virginia real estate market are in. Are prices going up or down? Is inventory better or worse? And how long are homes sitting on the market? I'm covering all of that for Alexandria City, Arlington, Fairfax, Loudoun, Prince William, and Stafford counties. Be sure to stick around until the end. I'll be sharing whether or not my prediction for spring market conditions has changed and what I'm seeing currently in the Northern Virginia real estate market. Alexandria City is first up on the list and new listings down quite a bit, especially compared to September 2023, down by about 16% and down compared to even just last month by a little over 6%. New pendings are also down compared to last year, but they are up a little bit from August 2024. Not too much though, 2% isn't really anything to write home about. Close sales also down just about 11% compared to last month and a difference in 12.8% compared to September, 2023. Let's take a look at median sale price here, 685,000 up just a smidge from August, 2024, really nothing to write home about less than 1%, but take a look at what prices have done since September, 2023, up by almost 14%. That is a really big number for appreciation and definitely where Alexandria City is trending, prices just simply are not going down. Let's come down here to active listings, 243 right now in Alexandria City. Really not a whole lot, even if we are looking at the five-year September average. Lowest is 203, max is 365, so we're not even really in the middle right now. Inventory continues to be an issue in Alexandria City, or I should say lack thereof. Average days on the market, ooh, we're at 22, we're in the red. I know this looks like it could be high, but 22 days, average days on the market is not high at all. Alexandria City is a fast moving market. It has been for as long as I've been in real estate, which is almost two decades at this point. Minimum days, 14, max 25. So really nothing to be concerned about here. It's typical for this time of year in particular. We're looking at September closed sales and September is historically a slower month in real estate, at least in Northern Virginia, I should say. Average sale to list price ratio, 99%. We are still looking good as far as it being a seller's market. Yes, there is a smidge more negotiation happening than say what we saw this past spring. Also very typical for the time of year that we are in for real estate. The max though, even looking at this, 99.8% on the five-year average. So we are right in line with that. And compared to September, 2023, it's down just by 0.4%. Next up is Arlington County. Arlington is such a hot market. Looking at this, new listings are up almost 25% from August, 2024. This is really good news if you are a buyer in Arlington. Don't get too excited, it's still a seller's market, but the more inventory, the better. We really do need it in Arlington. And looking at this, it's still down compared to September of 23. So keep that in mind that you are still operating in a seller's market. New pendings are up just about 18% compared to August of 24 and up 5.3% from this time last year. Closed sales down though. Closed sales are down by almost 24% compared to last month. And they're down by about 16.4% compared to September, 2023. Coming down here to the median sale price. This is always my favorite one to look at year over year. 769,000 median sale price for Arlington in September of 2024. That is up 13.6% from August 24 and up almost 10% from September 2023. This one is very important to always keep your eye on because it's what's going to tell you what prices are doing, especially that year over year figure. Really pay attention to that appreciation percentage because that will help guide you on whether or not it makes sense for you to make a long-term investment. Coming down here, active listings, ooh, still really low. 313, that is the lowest on the five-year September average. Again, it's nice to see that inventory is up from last month, but we still need more inventory in Arlington, without a doubt. Average days on the market are still low, ticked up a little bit from the minimum of 21 for the five-year September average, but 23 days on the market is not long at all. Arlington continues to move right along. Average sale to list price ratio, 98%. This is still extremely high. Is it down from the max of 100.2%? Yes, it is. 
that is simply telling of the time of year that we are in. It is not a sign that the market is even going towards a stable market, much less a buyer's market. Next county on our list is Fairfax County. This is such a big area and Fairfax County has seen a ton of demand as well. New listings, 963, that's up by about 5% from this time last year, but it's down by 1% compared to August, 2024. New pendings are up in a big way, 1,015, that's up 7.3% from August 24 and up 19.7% from September 2023. Closed sales are down compared to last month by 10.2%, but they're up by 10.8% compared to September 2023. Median sale price here is 720,000 in Fairfax County. That's down by 2.8% compared to August, but what I like to focus on is year over year and it's up by 10.8%. So anybody that bought in Fairfax County last year, they are really happy with their decision considering over a 10% appreciation rate. Coming down here to active listings, 1,284 currently on the market in Fairfax. The lease that it's gone to in September five-year average is 1,078. So we're at least not at the bottom of the barrel, but more inventory is absolutely needed in Fairfax County because look at this, the max for the five-year September average, 1,872. That is a big difference from the 1,284 where we are right now. Average days on the market at 19. Yes, it is up just a smidge compared to August of 24, where we came in at 16. But looking at the five-year average, this is still very low for days on the market. Fairfax County is also a fast-moving market, particularly in the townhouse and single-family segment. Average sale to list price ratio, 99.5%. The min for September five-year average is 97.8%, and the max is 100.2%. So we're still leaning on that higher end in terms of what sale sellers are actually getting in comparison to where they listed. Loudoun County is next up, new listings 485. That is up 18.9% compared to September of last year and up 5.2% just from last month. That's good news for buyers in Loudoun County. New pendings are up too, 457 in September. That's up 10.7% from August of this year. And it's up 32.1% from September of last year. Closed sales, 389, that's down 15.3% from last month, but it's up 12.1% from this same time period last year. Coming down here to median sale price, $707,750. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. That's down 5% from last month, but it's up 2.7% from September of last year. Loudoun County is another market where prices year over year are increasing. They are not going down. Active listings coming down here, 577. That is almost middle of the range, I'm going to say. Minimum was 462 over the five-year average. Max was 653, so kind of middle of the road. London County could still use some more inventory, especially in the single family segment. Price 750,000 to a million. Inventory is very low in that segment. Average shades on the market at 22, that's definitely still not high. And average sale to list price ratio, 99.1%. The highest for the five-year average is 100.6%. So we are definitely still leaning on the high end of what sellers are getting. Prince William County, this has been such a hot market this year. 436 new listings in September, that's up 13.5% from this time last year down 8% though from August. New pendings, 446, also down from August by 2.4%, but up 13.6% compared to this time last year. Closed sales, 402, that's up from this time last year by about 2.6%, but down by 19% compared to August of 2024. Median sale price, $550,000. That's up by 1.8% compared to September last year. It is down compared to August at 4.8%, but again, focusing on the year over year when it comes to the median sale price is really what you wanna be zoned in on. Coming down here, active listings right now, 519. Definitely not on the high end of the five-year September average. Loudoun County, again, could use a little bit more inventory, but at least we're not at the bottom of the barrel where it's 383 is the lowest it's seen on the five-year average. 
Average days on the market, 18. Again, the market is still moving at a quick pace in Loudoun. Not as fast as it was this spring, but again, that's very normal for the Northern Virginia real estate market. Average sale to list price ratio, 99.5%. The highest it's been over the five-year average is 101%. And that is really also normal in terms of what the market is doing right now. Buyers are seeing just a smidge of negotiation opportunity on some properties. Some properties in Loudoun are definitely still seeing bidding wars. So it's a mixed bag of what you're going to experience there. You really need an agent that knows the nuances of the market. And last is Stafford County, new listings 157. That's up by 7.5% compared to this time last year, but it's down from August by 13.7%. New pendings 175. Look at that, up 32.6% from September 23, up 4.8% from August of this year. Closed sales are down 137 down by 4.2% in the same time period last year and down by 27% compared to August. Median sale price, 505,000, up just a smidge for the same time period last year. Stafford County though, when end of year stats come out for 2024, it's definitely going to be up in terms of median sale price. The median sale price is down a little bit compared to August, 2024, but 515 versus 505 is really a negligible difference. Active listings, 259 right now. That is dead in the middle for the September five-year average. Stafford County is another one that could use a little bit more inventory. I'm like a broken record for the Northern Virginia market. We really could still use some more inventory. Average days on the market, 29. This is interesting to me because 30 days on the market is still not a long time, but we have been in a market where it was, you know, as low as 10, 14 days. In some markets, it got below a week. So seeing this actually pleases me because it means that there are more homes that are coming on the market that are sitting just a little bit longer. That's good news for buyers. If you're a seller in Stafford County, that means that you really need to understand exactly your competition in the market if you're putting your house on to make sure that you are properly pricing it and positioning it on the market. Average sale to list price ratio, still very high, 99% and the max was 100.7. So we are right in there in terms of sellers are still seeing a very strong sale to list price ratio. What I'm seeing in the current market, both statistically and boots on the ground is very typical for this time of year in Northern Virginia. We always see a little bit of a slow late August through middle of September. It's a great window for buyers to get out there and get under contract because I predict spring is going to be a very busy competitive market. And the reason I think that is it's still competitive out there now, even we're getting into fall, it is mid-October when I'm recording this. And what's going to happen is rates are predicted to go down. But I'm gonna say, even if rates stay where they are right now, which is like mid sixes, then we're talking a spring market with a lot more competition because buyers know rates are lower than they have been. Are they where everyone would like to see them? No, probably not. But we have seen strong demand even when rates were high sevens, low eights. So as rates trickle back down, whenever that happens or however much they go down, more buyers enter the market. And we simply still do not have a lot of inventory. I know it can be difficult when you're reading, um, most of the time it's headlines out there saying, oh, you know, inventory's up by 100%. Well, inventory up by 100%, if you had zero, is really still not a whole lot of inventory. So I think it's important to put into context inventory being up. It's up from where? Is it up from a five-year low or is it up from pre-pandemic levels? And we certainly are not up to where we were pre-pandemic. So still low inventory as rates go down, more buyers into the market, which means more competition. And spring market here starts early. It really starts right after the new year and will run through, I would say, mid-April. Not that May isn't a spring market, but when you're looking to get top dollar for your home, personally, I would list on the early side of 2025 if your plan is to sell next year, because that's when you're going to see the most demand. And if it's coupled with low interest rates, I think we're in for a wild ride next spring. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below or you're welcome to reach out to me directly. And until I see you on the next one, thanks for watching.